Hello, Glenn Harrison here, and uh, thanks for joining me for another Tai Chi talk. Today, I'm going to talk about a uh, something that I keep getting email on, and I've been getting questions on quite regularly. It seems to be a uh, per, uh, popular topic right through here, um, as it has been in the past, and uh, that is what is an internal system or an eternal martial art. Um, it's something that there are varying opinions on, and I've just been getting many requests for my opinion. So I'm just going to jump right in and get straight to the point. A in, What makes a system internal as opposed to an external system is the ability for the practitioner to connect with and express the ground through their touch. In other words, um, utilizing the ground strength and whenever you make contact with someone else to be able to exert uh, the strength of the ground becoming a conduit for the ground, so to speak, and it being able to express that to your uh, to your opponent. And that's not just with your hands, but that's with any particular body part, uh, it, whatever you're touching with, your shoulder, your forearms, your, your hips, your chest, it, do, it doesn't matter. Uh, my teacher used to say, uh, show me your your fist, and I would hold up a fist, and and he would shake his head and walk away uh, to later explain that uh, this is not a fist. Your whole body is a fist, or your whole body is a hand. You can uh, use any part of your body, or you should be able to use any part of your body uh, as, in a sensitive manner as if you were using, using your hand, okay, to control, pull, push, grab, whatever. However, <clears throat> getting back on subject, the having the ability to express the ground strength through your, I'll say your hands, your touch, it's what the entire practice of Tai Chi is geared towards. If you look at the principles, uh, you're talking about being relaxed, sinking, suspending the head uh, as if uh, holding the head as if it's suspended uh, from above. Uh, keeping the back straight, the shoulders and elbows down, uh, maintaining your center, being balanced. All of these things describe gravity having a certain effect on your body or pull on your body based on your alignment. These things are aligning you uh, for a purpose, and they're aligning you so that you can have the maximum contact with the ground, and from there you can begin to, how can I say, become more sensitive to your relationship with the ground and the ground uh, strength. So, I mean, this can go into a lot of different explanations and so forth of what is ground strength and so forth, and we can go into that in, in another uh, video. However, even practices that are geared towards sensitivity and finding uh, your opponent's center. Uh, the purpose of those practices are so that you can also then, <clears throat> once locating the center, you can then execute uh, the this ground strength uh, through your hands or whatever part you're finding. I mean, what good is finding another person's center if you can't then take control over that center. So once we find that center, we want to be able to uh, first detect it, and then we want to um, have an effective means to express uh, our ground connection to that area or to their center that we feel. So going back to what is an internal system well, I mean, this is all internal. You're uh, letting the ground strength, you're becoming a conduit 
for something else to travel through you. And this is an, an internal thing. It's not like you're using your, your muscular strength to accomplish this. As a matter of fact, your muscular strength will inhibit it. So you have, you have to be relaxed uh, in order to find proper alignment to allow gravity to give you the maximum effect on connecting with the ground. And then you want to, once you find the ground, once you become comfortable, centered, and balanced, and aligned, you want to find a way to express that connection to the ground through uh, your touch, however you're touching. So that's my explanation of an internal system, what makes it internal. Um, i like to hear your ideas. So thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for watching another Tai Chi talk. See you soon.